Hey again, uh, this is another video on uh, PM reviews. Uh, we've done our week two predictions on the NFL last week, and this week we're going to jump right into week three. So, let's go. Let's see, what's our first game? we got the Texans and the Patriots on Thursday night. Texans and the Patriots on Thursday night. At Patriots, uh, I'm going Patriots. Uh, yeah, that's probably a good pick. I, I did see a stat where it said the Texans are three and one against, or three and eleven against quarterbacks with uh, what did they say? How did they exactly say backup quarterbacks? Backup quarterbacks. Because they, they still, you know. Yeah. I'm New gonna New still go with the Patriots. New England's got the third string in this week. Uh, Garoppolo got hurt, so yeah, I'm still gonna go Patriots. Uh, not a very hard choice for me. Um, Sunday games. Uh, we got first game is uh, Cardinals at Bills. Um, ooh. That might be a pretty good game. Uh, I'm gonna definitely go with the Cardinals. Yeah, even though it's uh, even though it's at the Bills, I'm gonna go Cardinals. Uh, they destroyed the Buccaneers. They did. They did destroy the Buccaneers. Um, let's see. Our next game is the Raiders at the Titans. That'll be a close um, one. That'll be a close. I think that'll be a close low, low scoring game. What do you think? Uh, I don't know. The Raiders. They they haven't known to get torched offensively. You think so? Yeah, I, I've been uh, thinking I'm gonna, some, uh, for some reason we're going with the Titans. I don't know why. Going Titans? Yeah, I think I'm going to go Titans. Uh, they got a good run game. They got a real good run game. I think they'll just run out the clock, take advantage of the uh, Oakland secondary. It's been kind of suspect. All right. Um, our next game is the uh, Redskins at the Giants. So a good old, uh, good old division rivalry here. NFC East battle. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go with the Giants. I think they'll win, actually, the division. It's kind of early to say, but they got yeah. really improved defense. There's Norris Jenkins. they got improved pass rush. they got yeah, Victor Cruz back. I think you have to go with the Giants. Yeah, I think they are. I think they're going to pull it out this week, too. Uh, the Redskins are having a rough start this year, and uh, the Giants are just – they come out hot. I mean, they come out real hot this year. So, uh, you know, I'm going to give them a – They come out hot every year, though. Yeah, they do. They're kind of like the, they're kind of like the Falcons. They come out hot every year. They do that. But yeah, I'm still, it's still you know week three, so I'm going to go with the, uh, the New York Giants. Uh, what's our next game we got here? Browns at Dolphins. The Browns at the Dolphins? Browns at Miami, I guess. Yeah. Mm. This one actually, I think it'll be closer than people are thinking. If the Browns play like they did Sunday <laughs> against the Ravens. The first uh, half of the game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> which... Uh, <laughs> Uh, McCown got hurt, so I don't think he's playing this week. If he is playing, uh, he's, uh, it's Cody Kessler. Is always, he's, he's already Cody Kessler is going to be the man. Cody Kessler. Uh, is Kessler with an E? Is that Kessler weird? with an E? Kessler, K E S S L E R, I think. Yeah. Okay. Kind of, kind of um, unusual name, but. Well, in that case, then I'm going to go Miami. Yeah, uh, well, it's it's at Miami too, you know, so it's like. Oh yeah, that, rough, that definitely makes a difference. Uh, I do think the Browns are a little bit, like. No, I wouldn't say underrated. I don't think people were taking him seriously, though. Because, I mean, Isaiah Crowell, I, did, I think he's the most underrated running back in the league, really. Yeah, he's pretty good. When I picked him up in our fantasy league. I have pretty high hopes for him. So. Oh, man. Yeah, Miami, uh, they didn't do awful, awful against New, New England. So, I mean. I'm no, going with the Dolphins. No, no reason to really doubt him against the Browns, you know. Yeah, I think the one. It's at home. They have a. No travel. They, they have their quarterback situation figured out. They can run kind of. Man, this next one is uh, Ravens at the Jaguars. Um, this one will be, I can see, uh, who, who do you think's favorite? It has to be the Ravens. It has to be the Ravens. I they think the to... Jaguars will upset them, though. You think they'll upset them? Yeah, I think, I think they're I more think, of a complete uh, team. Their defense, I know the Ravens' defense did good last week, but I don't, I don't think they're as good as the Jaguars' defense. Uh, if the Ravens can come back and if their defense can play like they did in the second half last week and, uh, you know, they incorporate the passing game kind of like they did uh, – Against the Browns in the second half, if they can play like that the whole game, I think they'll uh, they'll prevail. But uh, yeah, I think uh, I might I might go Baltimore. Uh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. It's gonna be a close one. I don't think it'll be a real high scoring game. I, I see maybe Max the winner will have maybe three touchdowns. Maybe uh, that's like high end. Like I don't think if that. Um, so yeah, I think we're both going Baltimore on that one. Yeah, no, no, I'm going Jaguars. Oh, you're going Jaguars. I think they'll upset them. I, I don't think they're the favorite, but I think it's a good matchup for them. Okay, so you got you got Jacksonville and I got Baltimore. So, all right. Uh, the next one is the uh, Lions at the pa at the Packers. Uh, I think the Packers won this one. Yeah. They look really, really rough 
against the Vikings. They they just they couldn't get anything together. Aaron Rodgers got shut down. Their run game completely got shut down. I don't even know if they had seventy yards rushing. Yeah, Eddie Lacy didn't do so good. He uh, he like I, I just think that the, they'll have to bounce back, or if they don't bounce bounce back, they're going to be screwed this year because they look really terrible that game. Yeah, I think I'll go Green Bay because I mean it is again you got Aaron Rodgers, Jordy Nelson's back. I'm sure they're trying to get that you know that whole situation worked out between him and Randall Cobb. Uh, their defense is kind of still getting straightened out because they had some scares at the beginning of the season. I'm sure you guys know about that. Uh, but everybody got cleared. Everybody's good to play. Uh, I'm sure they have, you know, a couple kinks to work out. Nothing real big, but, yeah. Uh, Packers over the line, especially at home in Lambeau Field. I'm predicting a shootout, though. You think it'll be a shootout? Like, I think it could be, like, 30 to 32 or something, like, ridiculous. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not going to predict. I don't, I don't like to predict scores that many. I normally don't do it. Like, I never do scores. Especially when people say it'll be low scoring, because you know once a team scores, they're gonna the other one just gonna start going for it harder. But I think it's pretty safe to say this will be a shootout. I think the Lions shoot out with everybody. The Lions, yeah. They don't Lions. care. They don't even they don't even try to like act like they're gonna have a de decent defense. So I think we're both going Green Bay on that one. I don't think it's really a hard decision. Uh, the next one's Broncos at the Bengals. Uh, got a really really good defense against a really good offense. Uh, this one would be the toughest one for the – well, I, I would say the Broncos would be tough. Like, they would have a tough time against the Panthers. But, I mean, they were home and everything. I think this could be their toughest game of the, of the year so far. The Bengals have been pretty solid. Yeah, if they can uh, – I think the Broncos will win, though. I think the Broncos will win. I think they'll get enough pressure eventually on A.J. Green to shut him down. Uh, you know. They're just going to play Sandy Dalton hard. Again, that is a really good Broncos defense. Uh, uh, they did – they had two defensive touchdowns last week. Um yeah, the Broncos, they can just they find a way to get it done every week. So I'm going to go uh, I'm going to go to Denver. Um, if it gets low scoring, the Broncos are going to win it. Yeah, if if it, if it comes to a def if it comes to a defensive game. Yeah, if they're, they're going to win every time. Yeah, it, it's hard to win a defensive game against the Broncos. Although DeMarcus Ware is going to be out. Oh, DeMarcus Ware is out. I think they'll still win, but it'll be close. It'll be me. Like they're just going to load up the uh, side of Von Miller, they're just going to load him up. I think he's left side right. Yeah, yeah, he's left. He's well, he kind of moves around, but whoever, well, it doesn't matter because whoever, whatever side he lines he up, play, he plays favorable to the left, though. So whatever, yeah. side, whatever side he's on, they're gonna just load up that side. They're gonna load they're that gonna side. Chip up, blocking, yeah. They're gonna have all that. Uh, next one is uh, Vikings at the Panthers. Um, yeah, Panthers all day. Uh, I'm Not just because I'm a fan, but I'm no Adrian go, Peterson. I'm gonna go Panthers too because uh, you know no Adrian Peterson. Uh, Sam Bradford, he had a really good first game. Him and Stephon Diggs hooked up for a good amount of yards. That does scare uh, me though. Uh, they got a good, they got a good passing game between Sam Bradford and Stephon Diggs, but I don't think it's enough to get the job done uh, against the Panthers' defense. Uh, pretty solid, pretty solid defense, and I, our offense is rolling good. So I'm gonna go Carolina. Although we do have Jonathan Stewart out too, though. I Jonathan Stewart is out. That's right. Yeah, Fozzie Whitaker is uh, gonna be the man this week, but he's been the man before. No big deal. He had like uh, 130 total yards or something crazy like that. Yeah, he, was, he had like 100 yards rushing. No big like, deal. Not even 15 carries either. I think he'll be totally ready. Like, yeah. Him and Cameron are his paid. He's second year guy. So. All right, those are all the 1 o'clock games. Moving into the 4 o'clock games now. We got uh, starting out with the uh, Rams are going to uh, uh, play the Buccaneers in Tampa Bay. Um, I, yeah. think the, uh, I think the Buccaneers will pull this out. Yeah, me too. Um, they got clean last week. They got, yeah, they got destroyed. They got destroyed, especially off of Jameis Winston having a real hot game the first week. He uh, he just didn't look he didn't look right in that game last week. He just, he was just getting look, his head torn off. But yeah, the, he the just, pass rush was just, he, he you could tell he was getting irritated by the pass rush and it was getting to his head. Uh, but I'm still gonna go Buccaneers. Uh, they had some like I mean not everybody's gonna be able to pass rush like the Cardinals. I mean they have like Chan they picked up Chandler Jones. They, yeah, they already had a great front seven. Yeah, and a great secondary. It's like I'm sure I didn't watch like the game really, but. I'm sure, like, Tyron Matthew and Patrick Peterson were just, like, not letting any of his guys create space, and they could shut him down. So I don't think that'll happen again. All right. So both going Tampa Bay? Yeah, I'm going Tampa Bay for sure. I think they're underrated. Next one, real good rivalry. Uh, 49ers are going to Seattle and playing the Seahawks. Uh, I'm going Seattle. Yeah, uh, Their too. defense is, is as strong as ever this year. It's, it's as strong as ever, in my opinion. Just as good, as, uh, just as good in my opinion, as they won – the year they won the Super Bowl. Uh, I don't think it's that good. You don't think it's that good? Nah, I think they lost Bruce Irvin. They lost a couple guys since then. I, I think they're still really solid, though, especially at home. 
they are putting on a performance this year, though. They're, uh, they've already moved themselves to the number they, one defense uh, in two weeks. They haven't, they haven't played, like, a really elite offense. I mean, they've, they've played, like, the Rams and, like, a couple, like, who else was it? The Rams and uh, – Miami. Yeah, they haven't played – I wouldn't say, like, they're the top defense right now. I think you still have to say it's either the Broncos or Cardinals or Panthers, but they're still up there. I mean, at home, they're as good as anyone. Oh, as good as anyone, yeah. You can't hear um, anything. The 49ers, uh, they just – they're hit and miss every week. Uh, you know, one week they're shutting out the Rams, and then the next week, I'm not going to call it a blowout game because they did start to come back, but, I mean, they did lose, I think, I think 46 to 27. And they allowed 46 points. And not really a good defensive effort. So I'm going, uh, I'm going Seattle just because they're the 49ers are so hit and miss. Uh, yeah, 49ers isn't uh, they don't they don't have anything I don't think this week for the for the Seahawks. This next game I think would be the closest game of the week. You think it could be? I think so. Really tough matchup for each one. Chiefs and Jets. You at the Jets. Run like run heavy teams. Chiefs. Yeah, well Jets at the Chiefs. Yeah. Yeah. You got a run heavy team on each side with like a great defense. With a pretty decent pass game. Yeah, uh, the Jets' defense is actually, like you said, they, uh, you know, they're putting on a, they're putting on a performance this year. Uh, I think they are. They've been fantasy points. I don't know if anybody has the Jets in fantasy, but uh, I think week one they got like, you know, thirteen or fourteen points. I think against you last week they had, uh, they had at least about eleven or eight or something. Like that. Yeah, they had something. They had yeah, it was, well, they kind of trailed off at the end, but yeah, they were doing good. Mostly. I mean, they were doing good. They have, a, I think, they have a good defense. Uh, Jamal Charles is Jamal coming Charles back. is coming back. I'm very happy about that because he is my running back. He was... All right. So the uh, the next game is the uh, Chargers at the uh, at the Colts. Um, mm, this is another hard one. Two AFC teams with below average defenses. Man, I don't, I, know. I don't know. I think the Colts that have a more of a potential to go like to the playoffs, but I think the Chargers have a better matchup in this game. I think the Chargers Chargers will win this one. I don't think they're a better team really, but I think I don't know, I feel like they can beat the Colts for some I feel like a lot depends on Andrew Luck in this game. Uh, depends on what kind of game Andrew Luck's having in my opinion. He can uh, if he has a really, really good game, I'm gonna take the Colts, but uh, he's so the past two years I like Andrew Luck, really, really good quarterback, gonna be an elite one day. I think he's gonna go down as you know, maybe one of the best. Uh, he's just been hit and miss this season, uh, and some of last season he was just he was off sometimes. He was he's he was on. pretty much always been like that. He uh, most upside of anybody though. Oh, definitely. I mean, he could come out there and throw freaking six touchdowns and. Yeah, like that's yeah. why I wasn't very confident about the Chargers. Do I think they're a more complete team? Yeah, do, like Philip Rivers is way more consistent, but Andrew Luck can can go off sometimes. I'm just saying, do I think he'll probably go off? No, I mean it's hard to say a guy's gonna go out there and get six touchdowns. Yeah, but uh, I'm gonna go with their Chargers, knowing that Andrew Luck could just like throw it all over them, just dissect their whole defense. Yeah, I'm going Chargers. I wrote I wrote San Diego down on my page. Uh, I like San Diego. Uh, just one of my teams I like, so I don't I don't really have a favorite in this game. So I'm picking a team I like maybe more than uh, than what I know. But yeah, I'm going San Diego with you. Uh, this next one will be easier though. Yeah, this next one won't be a very the hard. The Steelers uh, at Philadelphia to play the Eagles. I think the Steelers take this one away. I oh, think yeah. they're just far more of a complete team. The Eagles do they do look really like up and coming though. I mean Carson Wentz, I kinda thought he was gonna be a bust, but he's just been ripping it up. Yeah, he's been doing pretty good. Uh I think he'll do a good like I think he'll get like two or three touchdowns maybe. 250, 300 yards, but I just don't think they'll win. No, I don't think. They'll I don't win. think they'll be able to establish a run game as good. Like, and they're gonna be. They could be playing from behind, so they're gonna really make him throw a lot more than he's used to. Yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, you go with the Steelers. I'm going Steelers. I mean, Antonio Brown, D'Angelo Williams. Uh, I think this is D'Angelo Williams' last week playing. Uh, well, he's starting. Well, he probably won't play very much. Yeah, he won't play very much. I don't think with Le'Veon Bell back. If Le'Veon Bell comes back and does what he's supposed to do, I'm sure he'll get a few carries this game, but nothing a lot. Nothing but uh, Pittsburgh's been looking good. Uh, Antonio Brown, you know, he's been looking real good. So I'm going Pittsburgh. Uh, Sunday night game, 8:30 game is uh, Chicago is going to Dallas to play the Cowboys, the Chicago Bears, and the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, I'm going Cowboys for sure. I'm going Cowboys. Uh, the Bears did not look good. They look. Man, yeah, Jay Cutler did not look good Monday night. I mean, he, his finger got hit, like, but he. A lot of people are saying he's he's not very like not like very tough. That's what they're yeah. saying. I mean, I don't know. I, 
didn't really like. I mean, I watched the game. I just I couldn't really tell what the injury was. I knew it was his finger. It's, yeah. I mean, he's, from what I've heard, it is pretty bad. But oh, is it? I haven't. I haven't read much on it. Uh, he's getting a lot of flack because he took himself out of the game, and all these oh, old man. school people and all these old school analysts are like, "Oh, he does that. What kind of franchise quarterback does that?" He, yeah, back in my day, we didn't. Yeah, I think the Cowboys will win. Yeah, I'm going Dallas because they. Uh, their offense is actually, believe it or not, I, I, I like the way their offense is looking with a rookie quarterback and a rookie running back. Uh, I like the way they're looking. I thought they played a really good game against the uh, against the Redskins. Um, I just I like these rookies. I think they're doing good. I think they have something to prove. I think everybody doubted them, and they want to prove that they're they're here to stay. So uh, except for Jerry Goff. Yeah, except yeah, for Jerry because they didn't even touch the field yet. Yeah, uh, he hasn't really. Uh, well, he never. They said he never took a snap like. In high school or college, uh, under center, he was always in the shotgun, so that doesn't help. No, nah, that doesn't help. Not at all. So basically, he's never like played a pro style anything. Like, yeah, I think uh, I think Ezekiel Elliott, even though maybe his stats aren't quite maybe as good as Carson Wentz, I think he's the more. But you mean Dak Prescott? I mean, uh, yeah, I meant uh, I meant Dak Prescott. I think uh, he does more of a role though, overall. Yeah, I think he has. I think he has more of a more of an influence on how. Everyone plays around him. You know what I mean? I think he. I think the Dallas Cowboys like Dak Prescott. If that makes. I know that's a very basic statement, but I think they really like the style Dak Prescott plays with. Uh, he carries the whole team. He, ca- he just yeah. He he come in there. He he took command on a short notice. Uh, uh, he just him and Ezekiel Elliott just hook up really well. I think I think they play good together. Um, How it does Brian Jason Wooden doesn't hurt though. No, that doesn't hurt. That doesn't hurt at all. But uh, I'm taking Dallas. I got Dallas right here written down. Yeah, so. me too. I think they'll take it away. And the uh, the Monday night game, primetime game, is uh, Falcons at the Saints. This will uh, be a shootout. NFC South rivalry. This will be a shootout. No out, defense on either side. A dysfunctional defense on each side. Falcons do have somewhat of an improved defense with Dan Quinn coming from Seattle because that's pretty much why I think their defense is so great to begin with because he just built it from the ground. I think I think we're going to disagree on this one. I'm going to go ahead and go with the Falcons. I think Matt Ryan is playing as good as anyone. I know that sounds ridiculous. He, I mean, it's early in the year. He always starts off hot, and I think it's still early enough in the year to where he'll still be on his hot streak. Yeah, I'm going. Uh, I'm going New Orleans. Uh, I think they just. I think they just came off a really tough, really tough loss against the Giants last week, and uh, I think they only had one. I think. So I think the score was ten to thirteen, if I'm not mistaken. So that means. Uh, that means it was only one touchdown scored. I don't know who scored it. Uh, if Drew Brees did throw it, I mean, he just that means he came off a four touchdown week to a one touchdown week. And uh, well, they're back at home too. That's a really under underrated uh, home stadium. Yeah, it's the, really uh, that Superdome. You don't want to play there. Yes, yeah, it's, it's monstrous. It's huge. A lot, a lot of people. Uh, Those fans are. I'm taking New Orleans, and uh, I think. I just I think Drew Brees is gonna go out there and get it done this week. I really do. For the Falcons to win though, like I picked them, but they do need to give the ball to uh, Devontae Freeman more. They, if they yeah, want, they gotta uh, run the ball more. They have to establish the run game early. That's the only reason I'm picking them because I think they will do that. Okay. I just think Matt Ryan is still on his hot streak, and they haven't even used Freeman yet. If they can do both, they will be. Have you heard an update on uh, Julio Jones, or have you heard? I don't know if it's, it's all like uh, it's all kind of like not very. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. Like none of the reports are very specific. Like it's all kind of no one really knows. Kind of in the air, kind of thing. Like he'll play, but we don't know how effective he's going to be. That's. I mean, I don't know if there might be something more recent, but that's what I've heard. Okay. All right. Well, that's our uh, that's our week two predictions. Week three. Uh, our week three predictions yeah. is our second second prediction video. Week three. We didn't do one week one. Uh, and last time we didn't have our results. So like the. Uh, you know, next time we'll be able to say we yeah, got we, this many right. We wrote, yeah, we wrote all our results down this week. Uh, he got his picks. I got mine. Uh, we'll see who did better. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see who got it better. written down right here. Got mine in my handy dandy little uh, composition book. Uh, thanks for watching. If you stuck out, uh, follow us on Twitter at the PM Reviews. Uh, find us on Facebook, PM Reviews. Uh, uh, we'll put both the uh, both the links down here in the description uh, down below us and. Uh, Tune in next week for week four. Thank you.